Are you wondering how to get started as a freelancer in software development? I'm going to go over some tips and resources to get you started in this video. Hi, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Faraday Academy. If you are new here, my name is Gwen and every week I publish content in the form of articles, tutorial videos, advice, as well as live streams. If you are interested in this type of content, then please subscribe to stay up to date. The idea for this video came from a meetup I recently hosted where we had an expert come and talk about his journey into freelancing. Now there was a lot of content and very good advice in that hour, but I didn't really have any more information prepared if participants wanted to go further and actually start their own freelancing business. Now I've freelanced doing various things off and on over the last 10 years. I definitely made a lot of mistakes and learned a lot of things. So I'm going to add in a few tips at the end of this video. But first I want to talk about the resources that I found recently in my search for learning materials to share with other people. I ended up looking at some books and other online tools and resources in the search for how to help software developers get started freelancing and I came across Real Tough Candy's online course which she has on Amazon in the form of a paperback and an ebook and also she has almost the same material as an Udemy course. Now at first glance just browsing through the content I thought oh this seems really short maybe it's not going to be that in depth but I actually went through a hundred percent of the course and it's really broken down to take learners through step by step most of the things that you need to do to get started in freelancing for software development. Now it does include some freelance web development. I believe that's the only type of freelancing that Real Tough Candy does, but the majority of the course is applicable to any type of freelancing mobile apps or websites, desktop apps, whatever else you're doing. She talks about making a business plan, setting up your business, how to start getting clients. And I found it really to be packed, not only full of information, but also actionable steps. In a lot of the lessons or a lot of the broken down chapters, she gives you actionable steps for you to stop and actually start working on your business right there, which I really liked. Because with a book or a course like that, it's really easy to just go all the way to the end and then just start working on your own. But she actually stops you and says, hey, work on this and then this. And I think the whole thing is ordered in a really nice, intuitive way. Now, one of the things I like the most about this course is that she shows common objections that you will get when you start freelancing. For example, customers that tell you your prices are too high or that they found a family member to do it for cheaper or something like that. And she also keeps it fun and interesting, especially if you watch the Udemy course. Some instructors have like this monotone style where it's just giving you information and that's it. But this one, she has a good intonation in her voice. She's actually funny and it was really easy to listen to. I think the book is also really well done. It seems like there was some good proofreading and editing involved. So I highly recommend either option. They both seem to have almost the same information. One of the things that I wish she included a little bit more of is branding, how to brand yourself. So if you do end up getting her course, then I suggest you also look into maybe some of John Sommez's material about how to brand yourself as a software developer or find some blogs or YouTube videos and also do a lot of research about what other people are doing and how they are branding themselves. Another thing she really doesn't touch on is how to use websites like Fiverr or Upwork or Freelancer or any of those typically low cost websites to start your freelancing. I think she mentions one of the reasons is because the work on there is typically very undervalued, especially if you live in an expensive country like the United States. But it's also a good option if you want to get started on there. Now, when I was freelancing, I don't believe I used any online websites except posting ads on Craigslist, which is actually another thing that Real Tough Candy covers in the course. And then I just went from business to business around town offering my freelance service. At one point that was creating menus for restaurants. 
I also made a bunch of WordPress sites a long time ago, and that took me a lot of rejections. Now, I did read books like How to Win Friends and Influence People and The Accidental Salesman, which I will link below. And those really helped me to be able to talk to these business owners and to walk in and form a relationship and then offer my services to them. It was definitely a lot of work, but learning those skills also has helped me massively in my career and now that I'm working for myself again. So after all of that, you still need to think about what type of business you're going to create. If you live in the United States, it's probably going to be a single person entity or an LLC, but there are also benefits to doing an S Corp or maybe to structuring your business in some different way. And there are also other considerations that you need to make. For example, when to open your business bank account, if you need a line of credit, what can you write off on your taxes, which receipts to save, what is an asset versus a liability. Now, ideally, if you have money going into this, then you're going to hire a bookkeeper as soon as you start making money and an accountant at some point in the very beginning to be able to advise you on some of these business decisions like how to structure your business. So what I did personally this last time is our local chamber of commerce has a nonprofit group they work with which gives free consulting to local small businesses and new startups. So check with your local startup groups and chamber of commerce and see if they offer a similar service because they were able to give me advice on what kind of business to incorporate, how to do it, and also details about if I need a lawyer, as well as how to handle my finances. If you don't know where to start, then check out meetup.com or Facebook groups. Look for groups in your area like One Million Cups, other entrepreneurship or startup groups, maybe specialty groups for young entrepreneurs or female entrepreneurs or something like that, just anything to connect with the community and see what people who are in the same shoes as you or were recently in your position of starting a new business. This is also a great idea to get new clients because many of them might need technical services and if they're a product company, chances are they only have one or two people and none of them are web developers or programmers. To recap from the video, I highly recommend checking out Real Tough Candy's course. You can get the ebook or the Udemy course for 10 bucks. It's totally worth it. Do some research on branding and marketing yourself as a software developer. Check out Simple Programmers online material about this. Read books about how to sell yourself. Read The Accidental Salesperson and learn about how to form human connections through reading Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People connect with other local entrepreneurs, and reach out to your local chamber of commerce, library system, and even the government agencies in your area that are responsible for business development. They are a great way to find out what resources are available to you in your area. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other recommendations or questions, please leave them in the comments below. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help my channel with the YouTube algorithm. And if you would like to support my work, please consider supporting me through Patreon or purchasing the book that I recently published called Learn to Code, Get a Job about how to learn and to land that first job as a software developer. Have a great week and I will see you soon.